could have been this amazing thing. You know, or when I was younger, if I had studied harder, I, I could have been a top doctor. When I was younger, if I had trained harder, I could have been one of the world's greatest athletes. The truth is, that's not any more true than the idea that you could have been the creator of Amazon, or you could have been a billionaire zookeeper. It's one reality that you've chosen because it feels good when you choose it. But if you could have done that, truly, you would have done that. It's very important to be real with ourselves. We can look back on our life and go, well, if I had studied harder, I would have done this amazing thing. But you didn't study harder. That wasn't you. That wasn't you any more than the world isn't the moon. A large part of your life, not all of it, because a large part of it was luck, but a large part of your life is the way it is, because on some level, you've wanted it to be that way. It's not that you don't have enough time to do this thing that you know is good for you. It's that you're choosing to do other things instead. Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. The arguing about what a good man should be, the arguing about what a good person should be, is the perfect distraction from actually being one. We fool ourselves into thinking that if I can create this image and talk as if I know what a good person is, then I vicariously take on some of those traits because other people give me the validation of seeing that I'm onto something. But you know, in your heart of hearts, you aren't that and you have to live with that. The idea of stoicism is really simple. You don't practice stoicism so that you can impress your friends. You don't practice stoicism so that you can appear wise. You don't practice stoicism so that people listen to you and think that you understand stoicism. You practice stoicism for those moments when you are on your own, lying in the dark, confronted with yourself, wondering, what am I doing with my life? What is going on? How much of a fake am I? How much of an addict to approval and validation am I? Where am I pretending? Where am I an imposter? Where am I hiding? Where am I weak? And when you survey the ground of your character, and you take a good look, the practicing stoic is okay with themselves, is contented with their efforts. Waste no more time arguing what a good person should be. No more time. Be one. Over and over and over again. As many times as it takes.